What up, y'all? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? I just washed my hair, so I'm not... If you see water coming from my head, I'm not sweating. It's literal water. Sweetheart of tea. Hold on. Ain't that my homie that used to work with me? At Alorica? What up, y'all? What up, what up, what up? So, I was just sitting here thinking, because somebody DM'd me. Somebody DM'd me and told me they were still struggling with sin. Greg with the badge, thank you. They said they still struggle with porn. Sweetheart of tea. Hey, God bless you. Hey. Hey, can you tell these people when I used to be at a work or working, I used to be reading my Bible between my calls. People think, you know, it's cap. You officially got shadow banned, Tyson? Dang. Kim, what up? Tyson, you know how I go. What's going on, on my Twitter? That's my backup Twitter, you see. And I'm testing something out because, uh, uh, some grippers are saying you you get banned for saying those things, so I copied and pasted it on my backup Twitter. And the only thing that got banned is the word coon, uh, which is typically something black people say to other black people. But so a lot of some people be DMing me saying they struggling with sin, right? And I'm gonna tell you why it's so hard for a lot of people to come out sin. Because you get told. You get told that you can't. You get told that you can't come out of sin. You get told that you are a dirty sinner and you will always be a dirty sinner. Now, mind you, nothing in the Bible claims you will always be a sinner. That is like some, that is really some Roman um, Roman propaganda being pushed on Christians. And if you believe that, then why would you come out of saying if you don't think you can? Oh, you, oh, okay, 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 okay. You, you, you somebody else, sweetheart of tea. My bad, I thought you were somebody else. I'm sorry. But, uh, but, uh, listen, I know people a lot of people that have turned from sin. So if you claim you can't turn from sin, Jesus is a liar. People always, people always claim that Jesus is enough, but y'all don't believe Jesus is enough. If Jesus is enough, Jesus, anything is possible through Jesus, then you should be able to not turn away from sin due to Jesus. If you claim that's not possible, let me know you're ready I'm ready. When it, because if you claim that's not possible, then you lying on Jesus, bro. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to use my boy Tyson as an example because he said this publicly. Tyson used to do drugs. And he stopped doing them. It's simple. He stopped doing them. Is that is that hard? It is probably hard when you stuck on drugs. That, that, that's like something your system and your body is sort of relying on. But how did he turn from that if it's not possible? And I got another question. If you can turn from one sin, why can't you turn from other ones? You should not be willfully sinning after receiving knowledge of the truth. Period. I don't care what your pastor told you. I don't care what these Christian YouTubers told you. These people are lying to you, bro. And they're lying to you because they live in and seeing themselves. I used to have sex out of way a lot. Facts. Facts. Stop doing it. I used to get drunk. Facts. Stop doing it. I used to make disgusting music. Facts. This All this stuff is out for you to see on the internet. My history is all over the internet. I don't delete stuff. I don't hide stuff. I don't hide my past because the Bible doesn't hide the past of the, the people in the Bible. So <clears throat> I don't hide anything. I leave it up so you can be like, dang, that's crazy. This boy really changed. You know what I'm saying? So my question is, why do you think you can't do it? 
I mean, you got two choices. Either you think people like me, Tyson, and a lot of other people, we just fight out better humans than you. We're capable of more things than you. We just are like some special creatures that God has created different than other humans. No, that can't be true. If we're capable of it, then you're capable of it. The same way we fell into sin. So we ain't special. <clears throat> the problem is, you love your sin more than you love Jesus. And that's the reality. That's why a lot of Christians came up with this concept, we will always sin. We're all just sinners, which is crazy because a sinner is a worker of iniquity and God hates workers of iniquity. Matter of fact, the Bible says God doesn't even listen to sinners. The Bible say that, not Bryson. Before somebody get mad, I know how y'all get. A lot of y'all, uh, when I say Bible scriptures, if y'all don't know the scripture, y'all act like I made it up or something. I know y'all little tricks. So, why can't you? Somebody said, if we stop all saying with Jesus too, the Bible says you can be just as righteous as Jesus. I don't care. Stop giving me y'all opinions. Where is your, where is the Bible? Because if we, if we, if we, um, if we, if we go off our opinions, then you are your, you are God at that point. You think you know God more than the Bible. So if, if, if you believe, if you believe that your opinions is just as potent as the Bible or what you was taught by your favorite pastor is just, is, is just as important as the Bible, then that means that means you you are Jesus. Period, point blank. Now, John 9, 31. Somebody quote that. Somebody quote that. John 9, 31. Somebody put it in the chat. I didn't write the Bible. I didn't write the Bible, by the way. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at it. Get mad at Get mad at Get mad at the writers, bro. I'm not going to be on here for long. So we got John 9, 31. I somebody actually pick what it say in the chat. Prison place, you can, you can interview me whenever. No, I need somebody to pick what it actually what it actually say in the chat. John nine thirty one. Think about this, different translations don't matter. Be holy for I'm holy. It's not that. That's Leviticus. That's Matthew five. Uh, that's something else. Somebody quoted it. Thank you. Now we know that God heareth not sinners. That's what the Bible say. Not Bryson. I didn't make that up, did I? Did I write that? No. So when you call yourself a sinner and your identity, bro, a lot of y'all be pitting, I'm a sinner in your bio. Goodness gracious. And then y'all think y'all sin every day. Where in the Bible does it say you sin every day? Where? Where? Where in the Bible does it say you sin every day? It never says that, by the way. But it does say God doesn't hear sinners. It does say that if you turn your ear away from hearing the law, even your prayer is an abomination. It does say be holy for I am holy. It does say be perfect as my father in heaven is perfect. It does say be found blameless. It does say that a, a child of God is one who practices righteousness. So why is everything that's in the Bible contrary to what you was taught about God? So one of the main reasons y'all stuck in sin because you already got an excuse to sin. You already got an excuse to sin. There's no such thing as a repentant sinner, though. So Olivia Stacy, you gotta you gotta scroll up. 
But um, so why is your belief system contrary to what the Bible says? Why do you already have an excuse to sin? So when you do go have sex out of wedlock, so when you do go uh making music that's disgusting, so when you do go being homosexual, so when you do go commit all these sins, you already got an excuse. Well, we're just human. It's my flesh. We're all sinners. We're all sinners. That's the excuse all Christians have created for themselves. And then they cry and act like why they can't turn from sin. You can't turn from sin. You already think you can't. I don't only like being, me and Tyson talking about, I don't like being around people like that. If you think you will always be stuck in sin, I don't want you around me because you might get me to slip in sin some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Because you be making up all excuses. You might, you might affect me. Christ is right. That's your words. That's nowhere in the Bible. No Bible verse say that. Everything I'm saying is in the Bible. I'm not saying it's easy either. But if you, if you can't turn from your sin, it's because you love your sin more than you love Jesus. That is the truth. And you going to have to accept that truth right there. And I don't put all the blame on you either. So I must be careful of pride. Get out of here. I, I, oh, self-righteous on pride. That is a scapegoat. That is demonic. When y'all, when people quote the Bible and y'all say it's, it's pride, that's because you are living in sin and you try to find a way to justify the sin you living in. So you call the other person self-righteous and prideful. Calling you what it is. That's demonic. Everybody wants to be coddled in their sin. So, so if you want to turn from sin, if you're struggling with sin, stop thinking you're going to always sin. Who, who do you think will turn from sin? Who do you think is more likely to turn from sin? Somebody that believes they can or somebody that believes they can't? It's common sense. It's common sense. You know the answer to that. You don't even have to, you don't even have to put the answer in the chat. You know the answer to that. And it's more peace when you ain't out here sinning anyway. It's funny how whenever someone says something contradicts you with the mind, because you didn't contradict me. I have, I have, what opinion have I gave? I haven't given an opinion. I've said everything in the Bible. Everything I've said is Bible. For a fact. So when you contradict me, you're not contradicting me. Pride is thinking you know more than the Bible. Pride is you saying we all sinners and the Bible doesn't say it. Because you think you know more than Jesus. The difference between me and you is I'm a slave to Jesus. I don't think I know more than the Bible. I go off, I go off the Bible and that's it. Somebody says, you're not concerned with being prideful? No. Because I'm not a slave to my own desires. I'm not a slave to my flesh. Give me the quote that said you could be perfect. Matthew 5, 48. How many verses do you want? I can give you more than that. I just went to Jesus telling you that. Matthew 5, 48. What you want? 1 John 3, the entire chapter. What you want? The difference between me and you is everything I say come from that Bible. I've been saying it the whole time. Jesus said the righteous go to heaven. Matter of fact, the Bible say that people that do God's will is who he listens to. Somebody said, got more to learn? No, I'm quoting you Bible. It does say be perfect. Exactly. I don't... Y'all y'all need to change your life. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people... A lot of people are scared to come out here and say this to y'all because they're scared to be like... They're scared to be called self-righteous. They're scared to be called prophet. I don't care what you call me. The Bible says, preach the word. Jesus said, teach everybody what he taught you. So I'm just quoting you what Jesus taught us. What's God will... <laughs> Somebody said it was God's will. Oh, I can tell you what it is. So I said, Matthew 5 48 doesn't say that. It literally tells you to be perfect. For an absolute fact, it tells you to be perfect. Like if you say otherwise, you're lying. Like for an absolute truth. Um <laughs> I can tell you what God's will is. 
God's will is keeping God's commands. Be therefore perfect, even as a father in heaven is perfect. Read on your live right now. Somebody posted it. I don't have to read it. Uh, Real Lady Jewel, thank you so much. Um, again, like I said, I can't be on here long. I'm about to drive to Indianapolis. So if anybody lives in Indianapolis, we can get dinner or something. I'll be there probably around like 7 p.m. Uh, or 8 p.m. Uh, all I'm saying is, man, you can turn from sin, bro. I'm tired of seeing people live in sin. And every time a Christian righteously judge somebody, they get called self-righteous. You can't be self-righteous by judging based on what the Bible says you can judge on. And then when somebody makes these righteous judgments, rebuking our neighbors as we're supposed to, you know what I'm saying? Um, then what a lot of Christians say is we're all sinners. Y'all always have all of these excuses because you want to feel comfortable in your sin. You want to feel coddled in your sin and you don't want to turn from it. You need to repent. You need to stop watching porn. Stop having sex out of wedlock. You need to stop uh, 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 listening to disgusting music. You need to stop making disgusting music. You need to stop using profane language. Uh, you need to stop condoning wickedness. You need to stop uh, 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 being a homosexual. You need to stop being a lesbian. You need to stop stealing. You need to stop lying. Because a lot of y'all be lying. And y'all quit to lie on people you don't like. Stop lying. You, listen, I'm going to let you know. If you a liar, you are no different than a homosexual. I hope y'all know that. If you a liar, you basically a homosexual. You're no different than a homosexual if you a liar. I mean, one homosexuality is an abomination. You're no different than a murderer if you're a liar. And y'all, a lot of people be lying so dang on much. Y'all bear false witness so quick. Especially when y'all don't like somebody. The, the, the amount of quickness y'all are willing to lie on somebody is kind of sick. Um, you know what I'm saying? Stop coveting. People covet so dang on much. That's that jealousy. Y'all covet. Y'all want something just because somebody else got it. That's why all these women cover their face and makeup and get shots in their face, try to look like what they think the beauty standard is. Hey, man. Hey, bro, stop covering. Dudes do the same thing. That's why dudes be selling drugs and doing all this criminal activity to try to get something because another man have it. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying you can't have nice things. <laughs> Jesus never cursed. You're a liar. Um, I'm not saying you can't. Jesus used slurs. Slurs and cursing two different things. Uh, but... I'm not saying you can't have nice things. I'm not saying you can't even want nice things. But if you want something just because somebody else got it, that's that's where the covenant come in. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, stop that, bro. All this, y'all don't honor y'all mother and y'all father. Um, man, listen, stop all that. You can stop. I promise you can stop lying. That's easy. To me, lying is easy. I think people that lie, y'all are punks. That's why you lie. You lie because you're scared. Especially dudes. When y'all be out here, my like women emotional. I let them slide with a few things. Even though I shouldn't. But you men, you a grown man lying to another grown man or lying to a woman to save face. Because you scared to be honest. You did something you weren't supposed to do. Now you lying. You can't even stand on your tent. If you do something, stand on it. But you can't because you soft, you weak, you fraudulent, you a punk. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all be out here. That's why y'all be out here lying. You see what I'm saying? Um, you ready? Okay, bet. Listen. Repent. Stop being around people that think you can't turn from your sin. Cut them people off. Stop listening to them preachers. Get around people that literally live a righteous life. You know what I'm saying? Be around people like that. Because those people gonna convict you to make you to get you to make you better. You feel what I'm saying? If you around people that claim to be Christian, but they out here getting drunk on Tuesday, they uh having sex out of wedlock on Wednesday, uh, they doing everything the Bible tell you not they doing everything that the Bible gonna tell you not to do, of course you're gonna do it. It's common sense, bro. It's common sense. It's common sense. Iron shopping iron, bro. That's why that y'all y'all know I talk to on the phone every day. I talk to Tyson. And I talk to Forgiato to try to bring Forgiato a little closer. You see what I'm saying? 
So, you know, hey, man. Hey, man. Repent. I love y'all. I'm just saying, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go to heaven. I'm trying I'm trying to get y'all with me. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know if you're going to go to heaven right now, if you die, that's an issue. You know what I'm saying? Matthew 6.33, seeking first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything will be added unto you. I love y'all. I love my haters. I'm out.